Next up is London-based Natalie Quayle, who's gone from being a high flyer to an entrepreneurial prior, which she believes has equipped her for dealing with the dragons. In my previous career as an international tax lawyer, I had to present to hundreds of investment bankers. So going into a boardroom is not something that is entirely new to me. Sonic Smile. It might be a teeth whitening product like I use. Oh, look. Peter's pride in his pearly whites is nothing compared to Natalie's pride in her successes so far. I was told that I would never get into law, yet I made that happen. I was told this business would never succeed, but I think our product is the best on the market. Dragons. My name is Natalie Quayle, and I'm the CEO and founder of Smile Time, a rapidly growing online retailer of easy to use at home oral cosmetics that has generated over a million pounds in sales in the last 12 months. These range from our bestseller peroxide free teeth whitening kit to our natural alternatives such as our charcoal kit and our bamboo toothbrushes. For me, feeling confident about my smile was a gateway to feeling confident in other areas of my life. However, when I was an international tax lawyer, I literally had no time to go to the dentist and I tried online options, but they either didn't work or caused sensitivity. This is when I realized there was a gap for small care solutions that are convenient and most importantly, customer first. We are pitching for 50,000 pounds in exchange for a 2% stake in our business. A range of oral cosmetic products and toothbrushes is the proposition from Natalie Quayle. So our teeth whitening pen that you're holding is perfect for just before a selfie. She's offering up a bite-sized 2% of her business in return for £50,000. How do they look? They look good. Yeah? What about now? <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Stephen Bartlett might be all set for a selfie, but it's Deborah Meaden who takes the spotlight with the first round of questions. So this is very much a cosmetic. Yes. This is not a dentistry product. Exactly. These products are to use like any cosmetic or grooming product. They're not going to provide you with the same results as if you go to the dentist, but equally the price point is eight times cheaper. Our teeth whitening kit retails at £39.99 compared to if you went to the dentist, it would cost £300 all the way to £1,000. Okay, are you making any money? We are making money. Go on then, tell um, me. So we generated 846,000 in 2021 with a net profit of 82,000. Okay, and your run rate this year? Is currently 1.7 million based on the last few months. I kind of knew you'd have your numbers right, having been an international tax lawyer. <laughs> I was thinking this is not an area I'm going to catch you out on. <laughs> <laughs> but also to have built a million pound business in, in such a short period of time is outstanding. Thank I mean, you. seriously outstanding. Natalie's impressive numbers have piqued the interest of the dragons, and the teeth whitening entrepreneur gets off to a bright start. But Peter Jones has been perusing the products, and he wants to know how charcoal powder made it into his box. How does that work on to make your teeth white? The charcoal powder, it's absorbing the toxins on the surface layer of your teeth, which allows it to effectively rub away plaque. It looks like brushing my teeth with volcano ash. A lot of people love to do like a selfie with it, like on Instagram. Listen, I'm all into do the... Do it for the gram, Peter! Do it for the gram! I'm all, in, I'm all into the gram. But you have a beautiful smile already, Peter. Oh, thank you so much. Good time to say that. OK. Can we know more about the electric toothbrush? So the electric toothbrush is £69.99. What is the speed? The speed is 40,000 oscillating Rebs. moments a minute. Yeah, yep. 40,000. So, so I'm in the oral business. I'm aware. So uh, I have a traveling toothbrush that's 31,000 revs. But ours is better. <laughs> <laughs> How many times better is your toothbrush than Tuka's? I'd say eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is better, but it costs a lot more. It costs about eight times more. Yes. We're not doing whitening at the moment. Yeah. But there's a lot of players doing this. Mm -hmm. A lot of players. 
And these come from China? They do, yes. And what do they cost out of China? The kit will cost £3.40. And it's sold for £39? Yes. So what stops somebody, anybody, and says, right, that's £3 landed, and they want to disrupt the market at 1995? I would challenge that price alone does not disrupt this market. What disrupts it is both value and customer experience, right. which okay. is what we're offering. But there's nothing proprietary here. Mm -hmm. You know that in the technology. Mm -hmm. So what is the defendable thing about the business? What is the unique value here? So the unique value is in our customer service. As soon as you come to our website, we have a live chat with actual people on the other side, not chatbots. At the beginning of the year, we had a returning customer rate of 10%. And by generating that greater connection with our customers, we've managed to almost double that to 20%. And of our 32,000 customers, we've had over 7,000 that have come back and bought from us again. Natalie believes her carefully calculated customer service strategy is key to her success so far. However, the Den's recent convert to The Gram, Peter Jones, now has a question about something on her website that he thinks is amiss. I noticed that you've got small time tea. Dot com. Yes. But you haven't got smiletime.com? No. Who's got smiletime.com? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not. Why didn't you get that? You're a lawyer. That's one of the first things you would do is to protect your business. At the outset, when I think we thought that it would be small time teeth, but then it, we just ended up coining it small time. And then once we were generating sales, we can't really move over to a new domain. Why can't you? Because that would dis disrupt service. But you should know that even if we that's not the case, you at least redirect. buy the domain and you redirect it, but at least you've protected it. That's a big trigger for me that you haven't got that. So on that basis, sadly, I'm out. Natalie's so far perfect pitch loses some of its sparkle as Peter Jones thinks she's made a rookie error and becomes the first dragon out. Sarah Davies has already described the entrepreneur's efforts as outstanding. Is she prepared to put her money into the oral enterprise? So I've been listening. And I appreciate you've got a fantastic strategy and you're creating consumer demand. And there's not very many businesses as a startup go on to achieve a million sales in their first full year of trading. However, because you're in such an astronomical market, my big worry is the floodgates will open and every man and his dog will be selling a version of this kit at half the price that you are. OK. So I'm going to declare that I'm out. Thank you. Natalie, I'm just sitting here thinking, do you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just never going to invest in it simply because I, I'm just not interested in the cosmetic dental industry. OK. So I might as well just tell you where I am, and that is out. Deborah Meaden becomes the third dragon to give the business the brush off, leaving only the den's senior statesman and newest recruit able to bring a smile to Natalie's face with an offer. I must say, mm -hmm. what you've done in a year is amazing. Thank you. However, entry to market is very cheap. You could easily replicate it. But I think your biggest asset is you. And you can't replicate you. And that is the secret of this business. There's a lot I can do for this business. I agree. However, there's no way I'm going to get out of bed for 2%. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to give you all the money, but I want 25%. OK. 25%, wow. Tuka Suleiman spots a potential toothbrush tie-in and tables an offer. But in return for the £50,000 she's seeking, he wants more than 12 times the 2% of equity that's up for grabs. Is Stephen Bartlett ready to mix things up with a proposition of his own? I was actually going to team up with Tuka until he tried to steal your firstborn there. Uh, 
I like you, though. Thank you. But it's tough, 2%. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> she was offered 25%. I know, right? Oh, God. Do you know what? I really think I can help. Specifically on the digital marketing piece, mm -hmm. this is what I've done for the last decade. I'll make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I'm going to want 10%. OK. Can I go speak to the wall? Sure. Thank you. Two offers for Natalie to consider. Tuka Suleiman wants to sink his teeth into a 25% chunk of the company, while Stephen Bartlett is seeking a more financially favourable 10. But Natalie's only offering 2%. Will she agree to a dragon taking a much bigger bite out of her business? Tuka and Stephen, thank you for both your offers. I would love to work with both of you. Would you consider each having 10%? and coming in together. Wow. Wow. You've just got the same percentage for half the price. I'll do it. Done. Thank you so right. much. You've got, you got a so dream much. team. See you. Bye. Natalie departs the den with a double dragon deal, but leaves behind some raised eyebrows over her decision to hand over twice as much of her company than she needed to. She had an offer for all of the money for 10%, and she came back and said, I want you both for 10% each. So she obviously thinks Tuka is worth a lot of money. It feels really surreal, but yeah, it was great. Really good. Yeah, I don't know why I'm crying. I'm very happy.